Waiting for an hour. Hey guys, I'm Philippe. I'm Julian. Uh, we're the founders of Seek North Kombucha. Uh, and today we're gonna be teaching you a little bit about how we make our kombucha. So let's go. So the first step is to clean your surface. Uh, this is vinegar. So we're gonna clean with just a simple vinegar solution. It's 50% uh, vinegar, 50% water. So. I don't like the smell of vinegar. It smells like stink feet. All right, buddy, boss man, what is the next step? We're gonna boil up some water and make our sweetened tea because kombucha is made out of jewels. Kombucha is made from black or green tea or a mixture of caffeinated tea. You brew that tea, then you add sugar to that tea, and then you add your SCOBY, your symbiotic culture of yeast and bacteria. <laughs> Did you read that, Jules? No, I've been saying it for 18 years. Okay. So let's do 10 cups of water, and we're gonna bring that to a boil. Great. Voila! And we'll need a SCOBY, so Julian can show you guys what a SCOBY is. Right, Jules? Mm -hmm. Are your hands clean? They sure are. Just wash them. them six times. I like to spray everything, including cans, with vinegar <laughs> water solution. Okay. So we have our kombucha SCOBYs here in a jar, but today I'm just gonna use one of our kombucha Ooh, kits. show them, and show them. Super easy, and I don't want Julian to ruin my other SCOBY, so we're gonna have him play with this SCOBY. You can buy your own SCOBY to make your kombucha at home from seeknorth.com. Oh, that's right. And we'll ship it right to your door. Pour that in there. Stinky! Uh. So why don't you pick up the SCOBY and show people what the SCOBY looks like. So in our company, I'm like more like the sales marketing guy, like the operations guy. I don't usually touch the scopes. This but is the for first you time too. and for you, I'll do anything. We're so blessed, Jules. All right, so this is a SCOBY, if mm -hmm. you can see. Pick it up. It's so, good. Can so a SCOBY, which is this, is a symbiotic culture of back. Uh, we call it a SCOBY. Uh, SCOBY is an acronym. SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. So what you're looking at here is a combination of living yeast and bacteria that have formed this um, being. Yeah. And it is alive. It doesn't have a brain, even though it looks like a brain, but this is living. Um, it doesn't feel pain as far as we know. Help me! Help me! <laughs> So, oh. this, why don't you taste what? No starter. No, oh, no. no. Jules. Just this is a little more concentrated. It's vinegar now, oh. right? That was disgusting. I can't believe you made me do that. So we are going to add our sugar. Oh, I thought we brew the tea first. We are, and then we add the sugar. The, Where? The liquid. This or that? <laughs> The sugar goes in there. I thought we brew the tea first and then add the sugar later. It has to dissolve though. If you say so. We are now gonna add two cups of raw organic cane sugar, cane sugar to our boiled water. Yes, we do one cup of sugar for every gallon of kombucha. You hear that y'all? 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 So let's stir that to make sure that all the sugar is dissolved. This is my Stew. Don't use that. <laughs> you know I'm totally gonna be. <laughs> Come, Anything child. Anything's fair game. Come, child. Drink my stew. Now we're gonna add our tea. Uh, this is a beautiful combination of home mixed uh, black and green tea. Uh, and we are going to add two tablespoons. One. Two. We have easy instructions as well. Um, you guys can find it on our website, but very easy brewing instructions. This we're math gonna, is not adding up. This math is not adding up. It's adding up. We're gonna 10, do it two, we're gonna, two, 16, we're gonna, 24. We're gonna do it quick by boiling just 10 cups of hot water, and then we're gonna add cold water to make it room temperature. We're just gonna turn this off, remove it off the boiler. So we're gonna let that steep for about 20 minutes. This is minutes. hot. 
So while that's steeping, we are going to add cold water into our vessel. Um, the easiest thing to do is just to boil your entire tea batch and let it go to room temperature. But we're gonna do the speedy way. We're gonna add our cold water, add the hot water, make sure that it's like room temperature and add our scoby because we don't want to boil our scoby. Right, Jules? Right. Are you counting, Jules? Nope, just playing around. Of course I'm counting. What do you think me for? Now we're gonna add our steep tea into this mixture. We want to strain our tea to use the strainer. <laughs> Maybe you can hold the thing so they are even killed. You won't burn me. No, I won't burn you. I'm gonna do it nice and slow. Y'all ready? <gasps> now we have our tea water mixture. We're just gonna stir it up to make sure it's not hot. Round and round and round we go. It's not hot. It doesn't look like there's enough space for a scoby in here. There's not. So when you make kombucha, you might have excess like tea, sweetened tea. So we're just gonna add the sweetened tea to our scoby hotel. But you can do whatever with this sweetened tea. Drink it, toss it, do whatever. So the scoby, what they live off of is the caffeine in the caffeinated tea. They eat that and the sugar in the sweetened tea. So by adding this to that, We've now given them more nourishment so they can keep growing and becoming monster scobies! <laughs> yes, so our scobies need fresh tea with sugar to stay alive. So we're just gonna feed our scoby hotel with some of that extra tea that we need. Now this is room temperature, it's like lukewarm. You don't wanna put your scoby into hot, hot boiling tea. Why is that, Jules? It's a burn! We gotta get up! <laughs> now we are gonna add the SCOBY into our two gallon vessel. You can always tell if a SCOBY is healthy by pinching it. Can you squeeze it, Jules? Is it dense and like Dense, hard? thick. Yeah. If your Strong. fingers can go through the SCOBY pellicle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a hole. Yeah. Jules! <laughs> so. Okay. You can tell a healthy SCOBY from an unhealthy SCOBY. If you can pinch the SCOBY and your fingers don't go through, it's not like mushy, then it's pretty healthy. So. Hey, can I put them in? I don't yes. want to hold them anymore. You can put them in. Which side up? It doesn't matter which side. Look at him floating! Yes. So it doesn't matter if your SCOBY sinks to the bottom, stays to the top, goes in slanted, it's all fine. No, no, no. We are going to measure and we need, stop. We need four cups of starter. Four cups of starter fluid. Yep. Tasty. All right, people. So now you've got your SCOBY, you've got your tea, you've got your sugar, you've got your starter fluid, right? Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna cover this puppy with some uh, fabric so that it can breathe because it does need oxygen to, because as I've said multiple times, it's a living organism which is why it's so good for you and your body. And we cover it like this with fabric so that um, other things don't go inside, say like gnats or mosquitoes or bees or dogs or cats or boyfriends or... Can we get this thing rolling? <laughs> so we just put this on there. Yes. And then we use a rubber band. Ooh, ay yeah. And then we use a rubber band. And you know, you want to make it taut. Now we're just going to let it ferment for how many days, Jules? Eight. <laughs> so we're going to let it ferment for about a week to two weeks. It depends yes. on your climate. <laughs> depends on your heat. Depends and we'll on your see cold. you then. That's it? That's it. Bye. See you next time.